Hey kiddos, I want to show you this cool subtraction hack. So when you have to regroup and borrow across zeros, it can be tricky, right? So let's assume this is money. So 500 minus 376. Well, what's $1 less than 500? So we're going to take a dollar away and we're going to have $499, right? If I take a dollar away from that, I can also take a dollar away from this and I'm keeping the numbers the same distance apart. So instead of 500 minus 376, I'm going to have 499 minus 375 because I took one away from the top and bottom. Because as long as the numbers are the equal distance apart, you can subtract now and now we don't have to regroup. 9 minus 5 is 4, 9 minus 7 is 2, 4 minus 3 is 1. So 500 minus 376 equals 124. And if you think like, how the heck did she do that? I will show you. So when you have your answers, you always should check your work, right? So you're going to take your difference that you got, 124, and you're going to add it to the number you subtracted by. When I add these numbers together, I'm going to get 500. 4 plus 6 is 10, carry the 1. 1 plus 2 plus 7 is 10, carry the 1. 1 plus 1 plus 3 is 5. Boom. That's all you have to do. Take one away from the top and bottom and then no more regrouping. Yay! Subtraction hack. Thanks for watching.